the Navy car. That guy probably trying to get back to his ship. Those guys, they, they always think there's a war on. Well, isn't there? <laughs> Probably afraid he's going to be AWOL. AWOL? Afraid he's going to be DOA. So what? Send the one smoke, he's going to nail him in no time. No bet. You haven't said a word for over an hour. Something happened last night? Every time I get anywhere near here, I get those same old feelings. Yeah? All right. What feelings? Well, you know. I mean, I'm, I can't explain it. I, I love the Navy. Heavens to Betsy. over personnel. friend of yours, is he? Way back, the best. Well, if you happen to run into him, you tell him for me. It's get his butt back here or it's the captain's mast. If I don't see him, though, could I uh, leave him a message? Just tell him Sonny was here. He can reach me through this number. That's my broker. I can protect that slob only so long. <laughs> Hung up on a truck driver. Well, I hope we both get a hold of it. You mind telling me one thing? What? It's not clear to me where we're going. Want to drop in on our broker? He's out this way. Oh, fine.
what you did back there? You see that rig over there? Look, you oh, watch your language. Whoa. You what watch you your go? language, youngster. Okay. I don't have a lot of patience right now. You hear that I... guy? Prove it. Rip. You bet you all, buddy. I don't believe that. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. What a, what a crazy way to run into oh, each other after all this. I'm glad to see you. You haven't changed a bit. Well, maybe you're a bit in the middle, but... That dirty look in your eyes. Hey, oh, I want you to meet my partner, Happy Will Chandler. Hey, Will. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, you know, you're here for the duration. I think so. Just exactly what was that game with that blue cab over? But my girl is in that truck. You gotta meet her. Emily. How do you know about Emily? Well, we just dropped a load at the base, and there was this female yeoman in the base commander's office. Millie. She said that if you don't get back, you're going to be up for a captain's mast, and you might lose that chief rating you're up for. No, no, no. She's always keeping tabs on me. But, uh, Emily? Oh, man. Emily is... Well, well you just got to see her to believe it. That great, huh? Oh, I'm in love. No. How come she didn't stop and pick you up? You know, that's what I don't understand. Now, I've been looking for her for two days. And all I knew that was she was in a uh, blue rig and she was working this area somewhere. So, okay, let's go. Come on. Uh, wait, wait. Go where? That way. Oh, don't worry about the car. Millie will take care of that. Millie said you got to get back to the base. i got to go that way. Rip. A-W-O-L. I have got to find Emily. Rip. We had some great times in the old days, but I got a little problem. I got a business to run. I'm empty. I got to go find a load to pick up someplace. How much would you make on a haul, say, from uh, here to Bakersfield? Five hundred. Look, I've been saving my dough for 15 years. I'm loaded. I'll give you six, seven. Haul me. Pay $700 for a lift to Bakersfield? Yeah. And to learn trucking at the same time. To learn trucking. You gotta be kidding. No, I'm not kidding. My hitch is up in two weeks. There's gotta be a better way. What's the name of the guy pushing the blue rig? Uh, Gabe. Uh, Gabe something. Gabe something. Oh, everybody knows Gabe. That's all I know. All right. Go to our brokers. Maybe he can help. Come on. <laughs> Jimmy, I need some information from you. You'll probably know. Uh, you know that Gabe O'Connor? Yeah. That's it, the Silver Eagle on the side of the ring. Yes. Say, tell me, what's he doing nowadays, and where is he headed? Yeah, okay, Jim. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. L.A.? Yeah. No, nothing important. Just a couple old friends wanted to look him up, that's all. Yeah. Jimmy, thanks a lot, huh? I'll see you. Los Angeles. Rain gutters and downspouts. Yeah. That's about it. Okay. What do you say, Sonny? We, we could catch him at one of the truck stops, Look, huh? Rip, you are facing a captain's mast. Now, you know how serious it is. They'll strip you naked as a jaybird. Look, why don't you go back to the base, check in, then you can rent a car, you can follow her wherever you want to. And, and we'll see you when we get back, okay? Where do we get the artichoke? Goodbye. I changed my mind. I went down to the DMV to check and see how I could uh, get a class one license. And they said I got to go to school. So I'm going with you. 
You're going to teach me how to drive. Drive what? The truck. I'm going into the trucking business. Oh. Hey, come on, let's move it. Hey, hey. You didn't go back to the base. Hey, well, who says I'm going to stay in the Navy all my life? I got a crude leave, and I got a retirement option in two weeks. You are going to spend your accrued leave in the brig if you don't check in. You see these? I can handle it. And Millie will cover for me no matter what she says. Oh, you want to go into trucking to uh, impress your girlfriend? Well, partly. Partly what? I think I like this business, see? You know, it's like the Navy on wheels. I mean, I've seen the whole world, but I've never seen the good old USA. I could really fall in love with a rig like that. Uh, have you got a photograph of the uh, love of your life? Oh, 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 I sure do. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really something. Well, I'll tell you. And when you got something like this, I mean, you just can't give it up. So what's she doing out with a trucker? Well, when I called from Honolulu, she mentioned something about a, a, a guy named uh, Gabe and a blue rig. So you've been uh, chasing every blue rig in town, huh? Well, well, that's all I knew, you know. And she obviously didn't get the word that I was coming back, but, uh, well, well, she must be out, you know, scouting up a profession for me after I retire. So what do you say, fellas, huh? How about it? I think you are out of your gourd. Is he mad at me? Not yet. Hey, this is great. Got a little seat hey. for you. Hey, she could even put up lace curtains in a bunk like this. Why didn't we ever think of that? Yeah. Careful. Careful. Oh. I thought he was sitting on your hair dryer. different spots in the engine and the rear axle. Let you know if you got trouble coming. Ah. What's that one down there? It says the uh, pyrometer. Pyrometer. The exhaust temperature. Let you know how your mixture is. That goes up if it's too rich. And you got uh, two air, air gauges there. Yeah, one at the compressor, the other at the actual brake pressure. See, what's the needle there? So you go up. Yeah, now. The shift. Oh. Okay, you gotta keep your eye on the tack over there. When it drops below 20, you gotta drop the gear, goes above 25, you gotta pick up the gear. Got it. And when you're a trucker, you can just be able to hear it. You shouldn't have to look at it. How many uh, speeds in this shift? That's 13, Road Ranger. And you got a double low. That's what truckers call stick and grandma. And you got a low range, drive range, and a underdrive, the split button. Want to try it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Watch your tack. Build it up. Okay, take it down. Smooth the shift. Okay, uh, Mr. Sonny, tell them how much you pay me. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the advantage is owning the rig, not working for a guy, with it? <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to own my own, baby. Doesn't seem too hard. <laughs> Ticket scalper. 
welterweight midway. <laughs> Man, it took me a long time to figure out it belonged back in the Navy. Hey. Hey. That's them. That's them up there. Right up there. Pull it. Pull it. Come all on. All right. All right. Just take it easy. be in the powder room. Which one is Jabe? I don't know. I've never seen him. Hey, uh, Bob, uh, are you a truck driver? And I am. Uh, you know who owns that uh, blue rig out there? Which one's that? The one right in front. Oh, but I sure do envy him. It's a beauty, huh? You a trucker? Not yet. Well, good luck. How many more of those you got? You did it, didn't you? Well? Excuse me, please. Toast and uh, tea. Hey, let's take, uh, let's take uh, Look at that. Uh, barbecued beef and some French fries. Wait. Hey, Emily! Well, she must have gone out the back door without seeing me. Oh, yeah, yeah, she must have. You know what I think of your Emily, uh, sailor? A figment of your imagination. Oh, yeah? Well, you just take a look at this, and then you tell me whether that's a figment of my imagination, huh? Now, come on, let's go, will you? Come on! We lost her. Probably took a turn off someplace. Can't you pick it up a little faster? Huh. Well, we're picking up on this stretch of road for anybody, not even Emily. A real lovesick sailor here. Now don't knock it if you haven't been through it. I've seen worse cases. Yeah? They ever get over it? Uh, Sometimes. I tell you what, how would you like your first driving lesson? Pull over, Will. Yeah! filled up, so pick up another gear. Very good. You are a genius, We're brother. Running quicker than you <laughs> did. <laughs> hey, when we catch up to them, I can show I can handle the rig, huh? How am I doing? Doing fine. Just keep an eye on that tack. This is the life! Ah! Yeah? Yeah, you're a trucker. You've got Smokey on your foot. Just take it easy. You haven't done anything wrong. Probably got a radio call.
Now let me tell you something. Don't you panic and don't try anything foolish. Otherwise, just pull it over the side to stop it. All right, all right. I'm not gonna blow my stack. I'll be cool. Don't worry. I'm gonna be careful. Guys, it's all on me. That includes the diesel fuel, too. Oh, yeah? Good, good. Hey, give me some coffee, huh? Tea. tea. A couple of hamburgers, tea, and coffee. You own that rig right outside? Yeah, what rig right outside? That one! Could have been worse. Yeah, I could have been on it. Yeah, could have been on That's it. That's right. You could have been on it. All right, buddy. Let me see your license. I don't have one. No license. No driver in the rig with you. Let me see your logbook. Uh, what's a logbook? Let, let me handle this, huh? There's nothing to handle, buddy. It's all right here. Well, uh, uh officer, listen. Uh, he was teaching the drive, so he's going to replace me. Yeah, yeah. See, he's, he's a member of the armed forces, and he's going to be getting out pretty soon. You think so members of the armed forces should get special consideration? Well, oh, yeah. Hell no. I yeah, well, I think they yeah. should. I mean, after these guys lay their lives on the line all the time for us. Yeah, I'm a member of the armed forces. Yeah, well, that's well, just what a minute. What, what's a 1265-4? Uh, no license. And 2-1819. Uh, Failure to maintain records. Logbook. And uh, A11-22106, two of them. Unsafe driving. Uh, destruction of public property with rear or forward move. Why two of them? Oh, I forgot. Hey, what happens if he's on a ship and he can't appear? 
Secretary of the Navy can get a hold of him. And you two guys can be his proxy. Uh, wait, hold it. I'll, I'll say. Look, uh, how much would it cost to uh, replace something like that? About 2900 oh, Look, what if I leave the money with you, huh? Uh, uh, $3,200 ought to cover it, and that'll take care of the record, too, huh? What are you trying to do? Oh, look. Will you give a guy a break, please? I'm not trying to make trouble, but I'm going to have to be back on my ship. We'll give you his uh, power of attorney. He wants to give you the money, and you can pay the fine for him. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's not a bribe, you know. Okay, I'll do it. For the Navy. I'll give you a receipt for your money. Thanks. I tell you, I wouldn't have the guts to try that. I have been bailing Swabies out of worse messes than this for 20 years. Come on, good buddy, let's move it. Hey! That's Emily! Emily! Ruth! Emily! 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 Well, he's gonna get himself killed. She's uh, too upset to talk. Emily! What's he done to you? Emily, I'll call the cops! Emily, come on! I want to talk to you! Hey, Rip, 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 cut it out, cut it out. Emily! Oh, Rip! Cool down, man, cool down. She does. Well, then why doesn't she show herself and, and say something? She's a trucker. You want to become a trucker so you can settle down together, huh? Has it ever crossed your glands that she doesn't even care about you? Maybe she loves the other guy? Why don't you just go back to Millie? Sonny, I, look, that bridge has been burned. I love Emily. A lot of rings. Now, I want to I want to tell her that I, I want to marry her. I never said that before. I want to tell her. And, and I want to tell her that I'm willing to become a trucker. I just... Look, I gotta find her. We're not in the wedding bell business. Sonny, you're the only... Only friend I got, right? Come on, who, who am I gonna turn to? Oh, I thought you'd never say it. Boy, am I glad to hear you say that. Thank heaven. You Come finally on. said the magic word. You're out of uniform. <laughs>
But where is she? Take it easy. I put her in another motel. I don't believe you. Why don't I just buy you guys a drink, huh? Look, I gotta talk to Emily. Nobody talks to the bride on the night before the wedding. Well, aren't you going to congratulate me? Look, it can't be. Come on, man. It's happened to a lot of guys. You've got to figure she was trying to duck you. I don't believe it. The man just told you. He's lying. In fact, it, it couldn't happen. Why don't we walk over? You can wish him good luck and we'll tie one on. What are you talking about? Congratulate him? Give it up, Rip. Just give it up. It's over. What do you say? Killed him pulling a stunt like that. He invited himself. Oh, well, aren't you the cool one? Okay. Congratulations. Well, that's beautiful. He didn't. He didn't break anything. He didn't uh, hit anybody. Shake his hand. Hey. Well, uh, where are you going to have the wedding? Oh no. No, I, I just want to send you a gift. I'll give you my broker's name. Look, what's the matter with you? It's all over, right? I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bachelor's party. How about that, all right? Hey, bartender, come on over here. Hey, come on. Uh, well, vodka and tonic all around doubles, and you just keep them coming, you understand me? Just keep them coming. You okay now? I'm going to find out where that wedding is. Look, will you forget it? any comfort to you. She thinks the world of you. Well, I think the world of her, too. She's become a good driver. She's even fixed the sleeper up with race curtains. She would. I, I think that would be very nice. Down the hatch. Look. Will you ever been married? Only uh, in the eyes of God. You've been married, good buddy. I know that. Were you married in a church? Oh, yeah. I pay my dues. <laughs> Emily would like to be married in a church. You think so? Sure, of course she would. But what did she decide on? Blue Taft. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there are going to be a lot of guests. Phew. Well, where are they all staying? I mean, they're sure not staying here because nobody's come over to wish you good luck. Well, I'm having such a. A good time with you guys. I don't pay any attention. Well, good luck. I don't think you're even getting married. I remember that very clearly. Where? Where? Excuse me. I'm going to help. I'm going to help. Come here. That is Emily. Now that shows how much I love her.
You think it isn't painful getting one of those, sir? That's, that's true love. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. I think you ought to go out and sleep on a rig. That's a good idea. Could you be so stupid? I mean, didn't didn't you hear anything? Didn't you didn't you feel anything? Not only didn't he hear anything or feel anything, he backed right up over the plank. What can I say? Well, I've been nothing but a pain in the neck ever since we met. I, I'll get out of your your hair. I'll send you the money for the tires and and the load that you lost and the. When we catch up the Gabe, we'll just hang him from the yard arm, all right? With the help of St. Christopher. Hey, you sure this St. Christopher's is our St. Christopher's? I looked it up, guy. It's the only one. Everything's gonna work out great. I'm gonna get my girl. You guys are gonna get your tires. You're gonna have two sets of tires. The ones I bought you, and then you'll have another for spare. <laughs> and there's gonna be a little frosting on the cake. We're going to tear them apart. Oh, this is a good life. You know, when we get in there, I'm going to walk in that church. And you know, that when the priest says that part about that, is there anybody in the assembly? I'm going to say me. I'm going to walk right straight up to her, put my arms around her, put her right in the eye, and not say a word. And then, you guys, you can take her again.
Nope. Losing her is probably the luckiest thing that ever happened to you in your life. You'll have to go back in the Navy. You said you want to be a trucker, you take your uh, two-thirds you of your job. You know how, you I blew it. I blew everything. In the life. guys are really good eggs. You really know how to drink. So, so I got to start all over. Start from the bottom. I make me a swab deck, peel potatoes. They'll maybe put me in charge of the head. Well, I'll come back. You will. In a few years, I'm going to make chief. I'm going to that. You think they can keep Rip down? few years, I am going to be on top of the heap. Okay, get going. I'll take care of him. Right. My word for it, that's all. Let me trust me. How could I trust you? I just met you 20 minutes ago. This is some kind of a gag you're going to pay. Uh, I don't like my emotions trifled with. Really, I told you. you got to trust me. You were calling my name? Over and over. He'd take a drink, smash his glass, and say, Millie. Take another drink, smash his glass, cry, and say, Millie. Then he'd take a drink, poke some guy, knock him out cold, and say, Millie, why'd I do it to you? He's really off his rocker. Well, why would he be calling my name when he's off chasing Emily? Well, how am I supposed to know that? Maybe he's trying to make you feel jealous. <laughs> I hear that uh, all ratings about to make Chief go a little ape anyway. Make Chief? Well, he's going to be lucky to make Deckhand. <laughs> Is he really too sick to move? Sick? He's stiff. They're going to have to sneak him back onto the base. Oh, if he put you up to this. Really? You were just saying this to get me to change really? the rating. Um, oh, boy, are you a mess. Oh, Millie. Now, now, stand up. Oh, uh, Millie. Don't you Millie me, you goon. Millie. Stand up. Millie. <laughs> oh, Rip. What made you do it? I don't know. Oh, I don't know what to say. Beautiful. <laughs> I just.
just love you. <laughs> Tattoo parlor wouldn't remove it. He said it was a work of art and he wouldn't touch it. So uh, I got him to tattoo over it. Yeah, I, I think he's uh, he's better off with Billy. You know, you know how truckers are. <laughs> <laughs> You know what that guy did the day we came through this Golden Gate? He ran up, we need love, in signal flags, right from the mast. But the whole city saw it, it made the papers. <laughs> <laughs>